Peter, you have to apologize. What, because of a joke? Not just a joke, Peter. A joke that angered some bloggers. <sighs> well, I guess this ain't the first time I got in trouble for something I said about a woman. Oh, good. We can steal. My husband and I would like to open a cookie store. We've done all the research, and I'm very confident we can turn a profit. I brought some samples if you'd like to try one. She said one. Take one. Mm, well, these are delicious. Let me just run this by my supervisor. Yes! This has to be the stupidest thing you've ever done! No, Brian, the stupidest thing I ever did was turn the bubbles off in a hot tub. Yeah, party! Ew, bath with friends. Welcome to Tommy Bahama. Yeah, you got anything for a poor fat person who wants to look like a rich fat person? Of course. Now, I'll mostly be hitting on waitresses who are too young and thin to ever be interested in me. Hitting on them in a kindly, genial way? No, in a threatening, creepy, I'm joking, but I'm not really joking way. Y you have anything for that? Sir, what you're describing is precisely Mr. Bahama's vision. Tommy Bahama. Five million uncles can't be wrong. Come on, guys. We don't have to make such a big thing about it. It's not like I'm a woman who's about to turn 30. You guys, I don't care what we do for my birthday, as long as it lasts the whole week and it's very expensive and inconvenient for all my friends. Oh, and I'm gonna dress like a slut and be rude to everyone for no reason. But, Maya... I don't care that your dad's dying. We're all going to Montreal for the week. Now, the man at the podium is Thomas Jefferson, and this is a very important moment. He's trying to convince Congress to approve the Louisiana Purchase. Come on, guys. We're getting Oklahoma, Arkansas, Nebraska, Kansas, Wyoming, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Louisiana. What are the chances all those states suck? You know, it would be nice if you guys believed in me just once. You're being terrible parents, even worse than John Edwards. Kids, we need to talk. Your mama has cancer, and it's made me incredibly horny. Take care. Mom, I need a check for the school field trip. Jeez, Meg, didn't I just take you on a field trip? Okay, here's the field. Goodbye forever. <laughs> ah! Meg, I'm injured! Please help me! I smell gas! Meg, I'm still alive, but I'm badly burned! Come save my life and nurse me back to health! Oh, God, why do bad things happen to good people? We now return to Hard Knocks CFL, training camp with the Toronto Argonauts. I hope you make it. You're real good. No way, not as good as you. I hope you make it. What are you going to do with all your money? Oh, probably just save it. Yeah, that's real smart. Well, back to my book. Thanks for spotting my potential, Peter. Hey, no problem, buddy. I'm pretty perceptive. That's how I can always tell which guys in the Wrangler jeans commercials beat their wives. All of them. Take him now. Oh, Lo Lois, it's probably just something I ate. I'm, I'm fine, really. I, I, I got more energy than a cruise ship conga line. Horny on a big boat! Horny on a big boat! I'm very sick from lobster. God, I should have known it. I feel more betrayed than when I thought that lawyer was going to propose. So you did commit the murder? Uh-huh. And you admit it here in front of everyone? Uh-huh. No further questions, Your Honor. Wait, no further questions? Motion to have the last eight years stricken from the record? That's not true. If it was, I would have figured it out. Just like I figured out who was stealing my lunch at work. Next time there's a sandwich in the fridge with somebody's name on it, don't eat it, scumbag. Please, you don't understand. Oh, I understand. That lunch didn't have your name on it, but this bullet does. My name is Peter too. He's all about helping people get well, just like Doc Martens. So, how are you feeling today? Terrible. I've got blurry vision, I feel cold and clammy, and the nurse told me there's blood in my stool. Have you tried wearing a lesbian shoe? What? Put this man down for a pair of lesbian shoes. Huh, high fever, weight loss, and extreme respiratory difficulty. Let's have this man intubated and fit with a pair of lesbian shoes. Live from New York City, it's the J.C. Penney Thanksgiving Day Parade. The J.C. Penney Parade? Yeah, it's like the Macy's Parade, only without licensed characters. 
with the popular balloons we all know and love. Mickey Rabbit, Sponge Cow, and Clifton, the small blue dog. I don't know. Joe, this happens all the time. You wouldn't believe who really writes all those Stephen King books. Scary stuff, scary stuff, scary stuff, ding! Scary stuff, scary stuff, scary stuff, ding! Scary stuff, scary stuff, scary stuff, lunch! Meg, trust me, you ace these SATs, you could go on to do anything. You could be a doctor, an architect. Hell, you could even coach the Mighty Ducks. Oh, right. The championship is on the line. It's time for a formation they're not expecting. The Flying V? No. The Stinky V. Peter and I used to be so close, but now we're like apples and oranges. People say we're different, but we're really not that different. Mm -hmm, yeah, we both work in marketing. We both lost children. We both own cars, but we like to take the bus. And we both cheat at words with friends. Oh, nice try. I certainly do not. And we're both going to have a moderate time at the party tonight. And we're not going to count each other's drinks. We won't have to, because we won't be drinking. Yeah, let me see what else is on. In honor of Sammy, on the bus ride over here, we all sat in the back. <laughs> Lucille Ball was back there with us, and I saw her smoking a Cuban. And then Desi zipped up his fly. I'll be as irresistible to her as wood is to a woodchuck. Mom, Dad, I've done a lot of thinking, and I've decided I don't want to go into the family business. I want to be a doctor. Hmm. Let's try that on for size. How much disease could a woodchuck doctor cure if a woodchuck doctor could cure disease? Is that sounding right to you? No. Hey, Jimmy? Yeah, Dad? Next time, if you have an idea, run it through the test before you embarrass yourself. We gotta find out where that party is and get Meg out of there. Yeah, you're right. God, what happened? It seems like just yesterday she was born. Mr. Griffin, would you like to cut the cord? Sure. Okay, that wasn't the cord, and now you've got a girl. I'm sorry Joe's dream didn't work out for you, Peter. <sighs> what was I thinking? Joe's the one with all the talent. Me trying to write a book is like CeeLo trying to find a pair of pants. Yeah, I need to find something a cartoon Apple would wear. Oh, my God, we've got to get him to a hospital. Don't worry, Brian, I'll save you. I'm good in a crisis. After all, I used to work the suicide hotline. I... I just can't take it. I discovered my wife's been cheating on me for a while. And I just... I can't live like this. I have to kill myself. Doesn't it make more sense to kill her?